Hi there, and welcome to the Air Equipment LLC YouTube channel. My name is Bill Dunn, and I am the Engineering Marketing Manager here at Air Equipment, located in lovely downtown East Hartford. And today, our topic is the basics of fans and blowers. Our first question we should ask ourselves then is, what is a fan? And as we all know, a fan is, hmm, excuse me, uh, wrong fan there. Uh, although, someone dressed like that in my family wouldn't actually be considered very weird. What is a fan? Right out of the ASHRAE handbook, a fan is a device that uses a power-driven rotating impeller to move air. The impeller does work on the air, imparting to it both static and kinetic energy. In other words, a fan is an air pump. The rotating impeller creates a pressure differential, and as long as that pressure differential is maintained, air will move. So, the heart of any fan is the impeller. And there are a few different basic types of impellers that are used in commercial HVAC. The first type is the axial impeller, and an axial impeller has blades that are attached to a central hub and the blades are pitched and when the entire assembly rotates the pitch of the blade pushes against the air and creates that pressure differential and that is how we get the air to move. With an axial impeller the direction of airflow is parallel to the axis of rotation. So with an axial impeller, say for example, if it rotates clockwise, that could push the air out away from the fan. And then if the rotation goes the other way, counterclockwise, the airflow will go in the opposite direction. Here are some images of different types of axial impellers that are used in commercial HVAC. And there's a lot of different materials and sizes and shapes. And each one is designed to be the, uh, the best fit for a particular application. And that image down on the lower right hand side of this screen is the, uh, it's the RMS Titanic. A photo taken just before the ship was launched and just before it sunk to the bottom of the uh, North Atlantic. But even with, uh, with boats, the propellers that they use are their axial impellers. It, uh, blades attached to a central hub and the blades are pitched. And when it rotates, it creates a pressure differential. With axial impellers, quite often we will mount the impeller in a square frame and put it in a wall. And now we've got a very economical propeller fan that can ventilate a garage or a warehouse or a factory. Sometimes we'll take that axial impeller, mount it in a tube and point it upward and we'll have a smoke exhaust fan. Something that can be mounted on the roof of an atrium in a public building and evacuate smoke in the event of a fire. Now with axial impellers, generally speaking, they can move a lot of air very economically, but not against very much pressure. So typically the axial impellers, especially prop type fans where the, the blades are long and the central hub is very small, those fans are used to move a lot of air, but usually not in a ducted system. Because uh, with the duct work, of course, as the air uh, has to be pushed or pulled through the duct, the air uh, rubs against the inside walls of the duct with friction that creates resistance and an axial impeller just doesn't work very well moving air against a lot of resistance, a lot of pressure. However, there is a type of axial impeller, a vane axial and tube axial, where the blades themselves are very short and stubby and the central hub is a much bigger diameter and this type of fan shown here can move air against a significant amount of resistance. So sometimes this type of fan is used in a medium pressure system. However, with an axial fan like this, the, the RPM required is very high, which means the noise is very high, and often the horsepower needed is higher than you would uh, otherwise want to use. The, the main feature about this type of fan is that the overall housing of the fan is just slightly larger than the impeller itself. 
as you can see, the, the impeller takes up practically the entire diameter of the fan. So in a very tight situation, a very cramped mechanical room, this might be the best choice because it has such a small footprint. But generally speaking, there are other options that can move the air uh, more efficiently. And that brings us to our next type of impeller, the mix flow. The mixed flow impeller is kind of a hybrid, a cross between a, an axial impeller and a centrifugal impeller. It has blades and a central hub, but it also has kind of a centrifugal shape to it. The nice thing about a mixed flow fan is that it moves a lot of air very efficiently. And the image is shown here on the lower left hand side. That's illustrating uh, the air passing through a tubular centrifugal fan. And the air has to be drawn into the center and it turns 90 degrees twice and you can see represented by the the purple and the red uh, images there that, that that's the the spots in the fan where there's a lot of resistance a lot of turbulence a lot of pressure on the right hand side the lower right that's showing the air flowing through a mixed flow fan and it moves much, much more gently and there's a lot less internal uh, turbulence and pressure there. So almost in every case, at least every case that I've looked at, the whenever we're looking at moving a certain volume of air against a certain amount of pressure on an, in an inline application, when we compare a centrifugal tubular fan to a mixed flow fan, the mixed flow fan can do the performance with a lower RPM, less horsepower, and less noise. So it's just in, in those inline applications, it's just a better choice. It's a very, very efficient way to move the air. Here's an image of a mixed flow type fan. It's a pretty heavy duty uh, construction. So we would not really want to use this if we're only moving say 500 CFM in line. It would be overkill for that. But anything over say 1000 CFM up to over 100,000 CFM against medium and even high pressure up to eight or nine inches of pressure, this mixed flow fan is a great choice. Here's an image of a, a smaller mixed flow wheel. This particular model, the CV fan from Lauren Cook Company, is all aluminum, uh, uses the mixed flow wheel. And we use this a lot in applications such as uh, the exhaust hood above a commercial uh, dishwasher in a commercial kitchen where the air being exhausted is really moist and has a lot of soap and caustic chemicals in it and being all aluminum this fan is a great choice for that. Mixed flow impellers are used in laboratory exhaust fans. Here the mixed flow impeller is in a, a tubular arrangement pointing upward. Just below the center of this image you can see in yellow there that is the impeller and this is a, a fancy lab fan with a bypass section at the bottom and an induction nozzle at the top but it's just it's using that mixed flow impeller to do the job in our next segment we'll look at the type of impeller that is by far the workhorse in the commercial hvac industry and that's the centrifugal impeller please stay tuned <music>